Yo, what is up YouTube? This is your boy Tiny and today I'm going to be showing you guys it's a little updated video. Uh, a lot of people have uploaded these but they haven't really like explained it well enough or thoroughly to the point where everybody can understand it whether it's uh whether what type of router you have. But basically I'm going to be explaining today how to change your IP address or so basically if you're getting like DDoS or fried hit offline whatever you want to call it people usually call it DDoS but if you want to get DDoS attack for any if you're getting DDoS attack for any reason then this will help you stop that attack and you can be able to get back online with your internet and whether it's home internet any type of internet so basically you have to look up your router settings alright first off let's start with this if you have two in ones you cannot do this like Comcast will give out a two in one a modem and a router all put in one it's that little black tower I'll show you guys right now you guys cannot do that uh, Comcast two in one two in one tower oh shit we don't want that really Comcast will give you some something like this see this like these type of things you do not want these they're they're good like they're strong for your internet but if you get hit offline you will be held offline until the person who's holding you offline wants you to stay offline uh we'll look up a couple more examples <clears throat> things like this like if they provide you if they literally provide you with just towers like these and they don't give you anything else you should have two things you should have we can go a modem which it could look like a tower but you can tell if it's a modem because it'll be set as just a modem so it can be literally a modem I have like one of these or I have an Ares one whichever wherever it's at but literally a modem and then you need a router so therefore the way you can do it is your router is set up so it's for wireless only or you can use wired but it's mainly for wireless you can connect it to your modem which so basically that's like blocking the like it's like a firewall to get to your modem so if they pull an IP it'll get your router's IP if the, the modem IP is static and it cannot change so you're gonna need both of these but there are different companies for the router it doesn't matter which one just get any type of router the more you spend on it, obviously the better it's gonna be most likely but it's whatever so basically what you want to do, I have a Netgear. Netgears are usually almost 100% of the time the IP address 192.168.1.1. That's usually the, the IP address. Now before we get into that, you got to if you don't have a router uh, a Netgear router, you got to look up, you got to look it up because you have to sign into your router online in order to change it. So you can look up Aris router login. Or Asus router login, my bad. Asus router login. Or login IP. Let's put it that. And then it'll give you one. Like, see, it's the same thing for Asus. It's just different ones. Like, the Comcast 2 in 1 is straight 10.0.0.1 or something like that. And you don't want that. So they're just different ones. But the main one people have, the most popular one, well, I'll show you right now, is 192.168.1.1, which is Comcast. Whenever they ask you for authentication required, that means, or whenever they ask you for the username and password, the username is literally just admin, and the password is just password. No capitals, nothing. Hit login, you're good. So this is what the Netgear looks like. This is, people usually get the Nighthawk. If you've, if you've heard of a Nighthawk, that's just a stronger router. But this is one under Nighthawk. This is exactly what it looks like, though. Everything's the same. Um, the lower Netgears will look a little bit different, but you, it's still the same thing. So basically, you can just go through, look at all your stuff, really everything. You can con you can control everything. You can get advanced, you can get security, everything. So basically, what you want to do here, when you're getting hit off, or if first, if you want to tell you're getting hit offline, if your internet goes out at any point in time where you feel like it should not be, and everything's supposed to be good, like there's no outages or anything, you want to go to administration. Or you're gonna have to look for it in whoever or what whatever type of router you're logged into and hit logs. Now, it'll show a bunch of weird things. I set it just so you can some routers you can do it, some you can't. So some you might have to go look through it. I'm I have mine as it'll just show DDoS attacks, which that means someone is trying to hit me offline. And these are from today, from earlier actually when I was playing competitive COD. But literally, if it says this. 
and it says that, then that means here's the time it shows and the date, and this is the IP server that hit it. Don't get it twisted now, you guys. This is literally the IP. This is only the IP server that hit you. That's the server of the booter they're using, not the actual person there, like that's actually hitting you. Because if you wanted, if you really want to go look it up, we can just look up what is my IP address. We can do IP lookup. And look, see? It just shows a random IP address. That's just the server that I, or the server of the booter. Anyways, you go back to here. So basically, all you have to do, it's a really simple process. You literally hit internet, or you find this wherever. All, the main thing you got to look for is MAC address. That's what you have to use. Most of the time, new routers, or if you've never messed with it or anything, it'll be set as use default MAC address, and then it'll be blacked out so you can't edit or anything. You can't do anything. You want to hit use this MAC address. And you, all you have to do is change the last two letters. You don't have to change anything else in here. Just the last two letters. So it was D4. You can change it to anything from, I'm pretty sure it's A to, I want to say A to like somewhere in the middle of alphabet. Maybe like, like A to H, I think, or something like that. But I usually just keep it literally like A, B, C, D. That's it. Th those are the only ones I use. So just only use like just A, B, C, D. You can do... D and then a, you got to do the letter and then the number one through nine nothing else one through nine so you could do d1 d2 d3 d literally anything you could do a7 you can do c9 just any of that and once you change those numbers you have to hit apply so we can do I'll show you guys right now we can do what is my IP address this is what you want to do to check your IP address to make sure it changed so my IP address is 66419879. All right, that's what my IP address is. Or you can look up. This is the best site to do it. IP Chicken, 66419879. That's my IP address. IP Chicken always tells you the correct IP address that yours. And really, all you have to do is change this. Hit Apply. Wait for it to load. Some people don't wait for it to load, and they just try to go to the next step. You have to wait for it to load. And then after you wait for it to load, I'm not going to hit it now because I'm recording and I don't want to mess everything up. But you just hit apply, wait for it to load. Once everything's done and it shows the applied changes, the changes have applied and it shows everything down here has changed, then you go to your router. Not the modem that provides all the internet, the router that's the wireless router. And you unplug that for 30 seconds. Then you go, after you unplug the router, keep it unplugged and then go unplug the modem. After you unplug the modem, what you're going to want to do is wait 30 seconds for both, then plug the modem back in, and then plug the router back in, and then your IP, you can go back to ipchicken.com, and it'll be a completely different IP. It doesn't have to be this set of numbers either. It'll be like three numbers, two, two, three, uh, two, three, two, whatever. It can literally be one number. And literally, that's all you have to do to change your guys' IP. So if you're static, you're playing online competitive gaming, online gaming, anything, someone's DDoS attacking you or your servers or anything, you just have to change your IP address just like that. It's very simple. And that's really it. So just literally, if anything comes in hand or if anybody starts DDoSing you, that's all you have to do. But you have to, you have to, you have to have a separate modem and a separate router. They cannot be a two-in-one. If it's a two-in-one, it will you will be static and you cannot change it and you will be held offline for as long as the DDoSer wants you to. That's just that's just how it's working right now. And a quick note: if you get if you have a two-in-one, you can get a separate router and bridge the router to the two-in-one, so the two-in-one acts like a modem, and then you have a router. So if you have a two-in-one, that doesn't mean all hope is lost. You just have to go buy a separate router. But if they have your two-in-one IP address, they will keep that IP, and if they keep that IP address, they can still hit it. So you may, if you're playing competitive video games or you're playing online something, or someone's out just out to get you for some weird reason, I don't know what you guys do, but if they have your modem IP or your two in one IP, you'll most likely have to call your service provider and they can replace it for free. But then you, before you even get online or do anything where they can grab your IP address, you're going to want to bridge your router to the two in one and then so they cannot grab your two in one. So basically, that is it, you guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, if it helps, let me know. Comment, leave a like, 
dislike if you don't so I know not to make these types of videos my next video I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be showing more towards the streamers point of view, like view is I'm gonna be showing how to use twitch alerts but if you guys enjoyed this video leave a thumbs up subscribe comment what you want me to do what you don't want me to do all that fun little stuff and thanks for watching you guys I hope this helps a lot of you and you guys will see you later peace